Alrighty guys, so I just came down here to feed all the animals, just a regular day, and I look over at the 75 gallon tank, and let me show you what I see. If you look real closely, you can see a bunch of baby cichlids. Oh my God, I, I can't believe it. I'm assuming that they're Killer and Kobe's because those are the two that are like guarding them. And whenever any of the other fish get too close, killer scares them off you see that so i'm assuming they're killer and kobe's which is crazy because blood parrots are hybrids and they're usually infertile so if i'm correct we're gonna get a fish called i think it's called a polar blue cichlid or something like that it's a hybrid of a blood parrot and a convict they are crazy looking and i'm just so pumped about this if you guys can remember like last year whenever i had all the american cichlids upstairs in the 55 in my room kobe laid eggs like killer and kobe bred but the eggs never hatched or i mean they might have hatched and then just gotten eaten like one night the eggs were there and then the next morning morning everything was gone but these definitely hatched and I think what I want to do is go in there and scoop out a little handful of these guys just so we have a little group of them that are like completely safe because I mean Killer and Kobe are doing a pretty good job of guarding them but there's obviously still a chance that their babies will get eaten by the other fish and I really want to see if we get these crazy looking hybrids so I think I am going to scoop out a little group of them but yeah this is just crazy. And this actually explains a lot. You can see that the sand is extremely misplaced. There's a massive hole there in the middle where the babies are. And now it makes sense. Kobe and Killer dug that to be the nest. And this whole situation also explains something else. Unfortunately, last night I came down here and found Moby, my smaller blood parrot, floating, dead. And it was a complete surprise. Like none of the other fish look injured, scratched up at all. And then I just came down here and Moby was dead. So I was just completely shocked. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be real upset about this too, because Moby was one of the fish that we rescued we got him out of a really bad situation at the pet store and completely revived him and he was doing amazing he was growing so much but i guess he got too close to killer and kobe in their nest and they did what they had to do to protect their eggs so it's just super unfortunate there's literally nothing i could have done to stop it i had no idea that there were babies in there but yeah r.i.p moby but i'm gonna try not to be too upset about that because this is a very exciting situation we got baby cichlids in the tank and now before i wait too much longer i do want to go in and scoop some of them out on the first fifth to set up a tank for them a few moments later hold that thought i just remembered i have this breeder box i bought this last year whenever killer and kobe laid their eggs so i'm just gonna throw this in there so we don't have to mess with setting up a new tank they can just stay in the same tank with their parents and be protected in this breeder box so let's pop it in there all right i just went ahead and rinsed it down and now we are going to pop it in the 75 gallon tank and whenever i put this lid down i think it should keep it in place yeah that should be perfect so breeder box is ready to go now i'm gonna go in there and try and scoop up some of these babies I know Killer and Kobe are not going to be happy about this. All right, I think I got a few there. I'm going to go in for another scoop. Yep, I think we got some more. Yeah, we got quite a few there. I don't need to get all of them. I want to leave some of them for Killer and Kobe to guard just to keep it more natural. But I do want to get as many as I can because I want to guarantee that we have quite a few survivors. I'm going to go for one more scoop and then we will leave the rest of them for the parents to guard. And they're actually more okay with this than I thought they were going to be. I thought they would be like attacking the net. I think I got about three there. And yeah, that's where we'll stop. And there are all of our babies in the breeder box. There's probably about 20, 25 of them in there. And there's probably still at least 50 in the tank. You can see a huge group of them right down there. They almost look like dirt. That's how small they are. But I do want to leave quite a few in the tank for Killer and Kobe to guard naturally. So of course I will keep you guys updated on everything as the babies start eating, growing, literally anything I'll let you guys know. Hopefully all goes well and we get some awesome hybrid cichlids in the end. We're just going to have to wait to find out. So I'll see you when I see you. Alrighty guys, it is now a few hours later and some stuff went down in the 75. Basically after I put the camera down a few hours ago, I watched the cichlids for a while and Killer and Kobe were being extremely aggressive to all the other fish. Like it was getting ugly. And I realized like they already killed Moby. They would have no problem killing one of the other fish. So I cut up some of this egg crate to shape the tank. And initially I had Killer and Kobe in that little area over there together. But believe it or not, Kobe was beating the heck out of Killer in there. So I took him back out and put him on the main side. And you can see that the base babies are hanging out like some over here some over there behind that rock and it's been like this for like an hour and a half and it's going pretty well so far obviously kobe can't do anything and killer for the most part is minding his own business just guarding his babies over there he isn't being nearly as aggressive to all the other fish as he was before so i'm pretty content with how things are right now but in the whole process of me moving stuff around in there i did release the babies that were in the breeder box back into the tank just because the breeder box was getting in the way i had to take the driftwood out so i just released them back in there but i do want to take some of those babies back out of the tank 
tank just in case the other fish like catch killer lacking and finesse some of his babies i still want to have some like set aside that can survive so i set up this tv tray right here and we're going to set up this two and a half gallon tank right here this is actually the same tank i grew out frankie my baby african clawed frog in so i'm gonna get that all set up we're gonna run this little three gallon filter on it but first i'm gonna go rinse all that down then we can get started setting it up Alrighty guys, our little grow out tank is all rinsed down, so I'm gonna go ahead and start filling it up with tank water. Alrighty guys, the tank is full and I almost forgot. Before I put the baby fish in here, I want to wrap the intake of the filter in this filter pad because these gaps on the filter intake are definitely big enough for the babies to get sucked into. So having this filter pad on there will stop that from happening. So I'm just going to wrap the filter intake in this filter pad and then I get two small little rubber bands and put one up there and one down there. So now the babies will not get sucked up into the filter. And then one last thing before we throw the babies in here, I am gonna add in some bacteria starter. I'm gonna add pretty much the rest of this bottle and now this tank is ready for our babies so now i'm gonna go in with my net and get a big scoop oh we got a bunch right there and put them in their new little grow tank i'm gonna go in for another scoop oh yeah i just got a bunch more and there they go i'm gonna go for just a few more all right got some more there scooped up a bit of sand with them that's all right. So yeah, that's all the babies we're gonna take. We got the majority of them. All right, and there are our baby hybrid cichlids in their little grow out tank. And you can also see, I went ahead and put a bit more sand and a few little stones in there for them, just to give them some structure that they can hang out around. They probably aren't gonna eat for a while, but I am gonna drop in an algae wafer for them and some ground up fish flakes. But yeah, there's one more look at our baby cichlids. My next update will probably be either tomorrow or the next day, just to check in on everything, see how everyone's doing. So fingers crossed, hopefully all goes well, and I'll see you soon. Alrighty guys, well it has now been, I think exactly a week since my last update and everything is going extremely well. First of all, you can see the 75 gallon is back to normal. I left that divider in there for like two or three days and over those like two days, Killer stopped being aggressive to everyone else. And then over time, Kobe started coming up like to the mid and upper areas of the tank. Basically, she wasn't guarding any babies at the bottom. So I figured it would be okay to take the divider out and I was correct. They're all getting along once again. And on the other hand, we have our little baby grow out tank and they are also doing extremely well i'll try and get the camera to focus here yeah, there's a couple of them there they're actually growing like i'm noticing growth especially on their eyes you couldn't really see their eyes before and now if you look real closely you can and it almost looks like they're starting to get some stripes oh my gosh they're so cute look at these guys they are just adorable and they are eating like i've seen them attacking these little flakes so that is an awesome sign there's a bunch of them back there as well so like i said everything is going pretty much perfect and this whole situation is kind of giving me mixed emotions because like don't get me wrong i am psyched that we're gonna have these hybrid cichlids but i'm also really upset that we lost moby in this whole thing moby was one of my favorite fish and i know a lot of you guys discovered my channel because of moby in the video that i rescued him so it's just extremely heartbreaking that we lost him but like i've said many times before i know you guys understand that i'm doing my best stuff happens literally this isn't my fault this is killer and kobe's fault they were defending their babies and i guess moby got a little too close so r.i.p moby you better believe i'm gonna name one of the new cichlid hybrids moby and yeah speaking of that my plans for the babies i'm gonna keep Keep them in this little two and a half as long as they can stay in there once they start getting too big i'm gonna move them up to a 10 gallon grow them out in there as long as i can and i'm definitely gonna keep at least one or two maybe three of them because if they're the fish that i think they are these polar blue convict parrot cichlids i think they're called just a hybrid between convict cichlids and blood parrot cichlids i'll have a picture on the screen of what they look like they are really funny looking i'm pretty sure this is what they're gonna look like and if it is we are definitely keeping at least a few and then as for the rest of them i'm not sure what i'll do maybe i'll give some to my viewers i don't know we'll just have to see but that is pretty much all I've got for you guys in this one. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated on the babies as they grow, as we do different stuff with their tank. I'll let you guys know. Today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am gonna see you in the next video.